All right, folks, Pitch Games Idiot, we are back. So I'm um, trying to figure out the audio situation with this. I got a hit on that fingerprint you had me run against the database, and it's a match for Dr. Haskell. So Dr. Haskell really is the castigator. She seems strict, but this is at a whole different level than I thought. Cooper had her brought into custody after they found out found Whit Martin, so she should be in the interrogation room by now. Let's see if she'll tell us why she decided to flip the script on Chuck Wheeler. That's crazy. The mystery text is hexadecimal code. Chuck Wheeler studied computer science in college. I think he used the code to leave a message. When translated, it's, an, it's a name, Whit Martin. Whit Martin? He claims to have been held in the dungeon, too. Are you certain that Chuck wrote this note, too? Yes, I'm certain Chuck's the one who wrote the note. It was written in his own blood. I ran the DNA, it's a 100% match. Chuck must have war wanted to leave Whit Martin's name behind pretty badly. Looks like there's a little more to Whit Martin's case than just kidnapping. We need to find out what else is going on here. Why did Mr. Kaplan pass along the ransom note that you shared with her to an associate? And I have to concur with her when I say it was truly shoddy work. It only took a few minutes to determine that the ransom note you showed me was written by none other than Whit Martin himself. He's a liar, agents, and a pathetic one at that. If Whit Martin took the same care in covering his tracks as he did in forging that note, then no doubt he left oddities, oodles of evidence proclaiming his guilt. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding it. Well, Whit said that Dr. Haskell kidnapped him from the chapel. Perhaps he left something behind here that shows what really happened. Let's see if we can find something that will tell us how Wit ended up in that dungeon and why Chuck Wheeler was so afraid of him. Is he the one who orchestrated it all? She's re okay. Maybe she's really the castigator, and Whit Martin was the one that actually killed him, and she didn't. She didn't do it. We well, have a lot to answer for. Two brutes barged into my morning meeting and treated me like a criminal in front of my staff. I was mortified. It was completely inappropriate. But you can stop the theatrics, Dr. Haskell. We already found your secret torture chamber hidden beneath the chapel. Well, I don't know anything about that. To my knowledge, the area beneath the chapel was part of a structure that existed before the school was built. It's been sealed off since the school opened. Fortunately for you, we have evidence proving that not only were you in that dungeon recently, you were torturing a victim you kidnapped. Show Dr. Haskell the evidence, Agent. We know for a fact that you've been in the basement prison, Dr. Haskell. We found your fingerprint on one of the torture devices. Care to tell us why you ransomed Chuck Wheeler? I've never ransomed anybody. Every action I've taken has, specific, has been specifically designed to help wayward boys. Help them by kidnapping and waterboarding them? I baptize them into a new life as good citizens. The boys who come to me aren't just trouble. They are barbarians who need to be educated. They must be disciplined so they can get well. So the goal of your action is to help these boys lead a good life, then why did Chuck Wheeler end up dead? I don't know. The last time I saw him was Tuesday evening after our re-education session. I left him alone for some reflection on his choices, and when I returned the next morning, he was gone. It's a very convenient story for someone who wants to avoid a murder charge to ask Dr. Haskell. If you're lying to us, the evidence will reveal it eventually. Nah, it's Whit Martin. That's nuts. Well, I did think that maybe he put it in there to to throw the suspicion off of himself, but that's still kind of crazy. All right, so what can we find here? Ouch, that was a hard drive. Put this on a hard drive. That's a hard drive. Cookies, bell, bread, and incense holder. Where that was right there. Flowers, wings, and a dove. Nice work, Agent. Let's get this external hard drive back to the post office to figure out who left it here. We should also have talked to Dr. Haskell about Whit Martin's allegations. I'd like to hear her side of the story. Yeah. Me too. Twelve hours? Hello again, Dr. Haskell. We need to ask you a few questions. As I'm sure you're aware, Whit Martin claims you attacked him and imprisoned him beneath the chapel. Whit Martin is a liar. I had nothing to do with his disappearance. Then how did he end up in the chamber beneath the chapel, Dr. Haskell? 
Even though the entrance from the main main building had been sealed for decades, it's possible that Mr. Martin could have accessed it himself from the door in the shed by the pool. Just before Chuck was murdered, somebody tried to extort his father for information about a government contract. Were you or somebody that you're affiliated with behind that? Don't insult me. I've dedicated my entire life to imparting a good code of conduct to the students of my care. That sort of petty ransom is beneath me. Well, I may not think much of you, but I'm starting to believe that you didn't kidnap Whit Martin. I think we should pay him a visit and find out who did. Yeah, me too. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Martin. We know you're lying about how you ended up beneath the chapel. Our evidence indicates that you were the one blackmailing Reggie Wheeler, so why'd you kill Chuck Whit? I thought you two were close. Wait, what? That's insane. I never heard Chuck. Haskell kidnapped me. You have to believe me. Well, the evidence doesn't lie, Whit. The only thing you can do to help yourself now is to tell the truth, so I'm going to ask you one more time. Did you kill Chuck after blackmailing Reggie Wheeler? We found your forged note. Chuck Wheeler even wrote your name and blood on a book we recovered from the torture chamber. You need to come clean. Fine. A few nights ago, I was looking for somewhere to smoke after swim practice, and I saw a shed and decided to look inside. In the back of it, there was a door. I picked the lock and saw stairs. I was going to go, but I heard somebody screaming. It was Chuck. He was blindfolded, babbling about having information on nukes and all the secrets his dad would spill if I let him go. I was going to just free him, but then I had an idea. Info like that could be worth a lot of money. So I decided that maybe I could get Chuck's dad to give me the dirty details. I left Chuck in the dungeon and sent Reggie Wheeler a note saying they needed to give me the secrets or Chuck would die. He sent back the information within the hour. I went back to the dungeon to let Chuck go, but as I was freeing him, his blindfold came off and he saw my face. He was so mad. He took a swing at me, so I knocked him out. And I didn't know what to do. I thought I could make him drink enough to black out and forget, so I got some vodka. But he started struggling, choking, and then he just stopped breathing. I tried to revive him, but he was gone. Wow, the plan you made based on the information you acquired from Mr. Wheeler is too complex for you to execute alone. Who are you working with on this? I wasn't working with anybody. I was on my own for this. I was never actually going to steal the bombs. I just thought I could sell my plan. I promise. We'll see if the evidence confirms what you're telling us, Mr. Martin. For your sake, I hope you're telling us the truth. I think he's lying. I mean, what kid thinks about all that stuff? Nah. But, dude, I'm dying. I'm, I gotta skip this. This is a great story. I finished decrypting the information on that hard drive. It contains a detailed floor plan and inventory list for the safety room facility containing part of the government's nuclear arsenal. So Reggie Wheeler caved into the kidnappers before Chuck died. Is there anything on that drive indicating who it belonged to? I was able to determine that the drive had been linked to a laptop computer belonging to Whit Martin. Many of the files are saved with the prefix Red Fox. Not really sure what that means. There's also a number of places marked in different sections of the floor plan. If you can make sense of them, I think we'll uncover what he was planning to do. Alright, we're going to try top right this time. Nope. Bottom left. Cool. Nice. From what Martin's files, it looked like someone who was planning to enter the facility through this loading dock. A perfect place to pull up a vehicle and remove the nukes, assuming he could take out the guards. But even if Wick, Wick could blackmail Reggie Wheeler for the code, it seems highly unlikely that a high school senior could arrange for transport, storage, and sale of active nuclear weapons. Wick Martin is definitely working with somebody. Dr. Haskell is still a possibility, but I think there's someone else behind the scenes. We need to find them. I wonder if it's, if it's Reggie Wheeler. We need to analyze the data Whit Martin obtained and see if it's been linked to anyone else. If he's been lying to us, those nukes might already be compromised, and we'd be looking at a national security crisis. No doubt Cooper will want to keep this in-house, but Reddington's help might be useful in determining whether or not anyone from the underworld knows this information yet. Alright, well, we know who we're sending it to. Eighty-five percent. Holy cow! Good evening, Agent. Mr. Reddington wants to know if you have anything to report on the Chuck Wheeler case. He's pleased. Cool. So it looks like Reggie Wheeler collapsed like a house of cards as soon as Chuck's life was in danger. That is definitely the sort of information that could be very damaging in the wrong hands. 
Also, start by putting feelers out to some of my contacts to see if this information made it out into the world yet. We'll be in touch. Bad news agents. Last night, four warheads were stolen from the safety road facility. Elements of the robbery matched the schematics and floor pad we had taped from Whit Martin's laptop. I knew that Weasel was lying when he claimed to be working alone. He must have had someone on the outside who was able to execute his plan while we were still gathering evidence. Agreed. Get over to the safety room facility and see if you can find anything else to help us uncover the identity of Whit Martin's partner. This is a nightmare. We've got four unaccounted nuclear weapons in the hands of an anonymous criminal. We need something to help us identify our culprit. I hate to get dramatic, but since nuclear weapons are at play, the fate of the world could actually depend on this. See what you can find. Yeah, that's nothing to mess around with, man. Security camera, floor, floor polisher, control panel, I don't know what that is. Floodlights. On the receipt. Bazooka. Bazooka. Darn it. I don't know what that is. That's got to be a control panel. Is that a bazooka? No. Ah. I hate it when they're exactly in the center of the screen. I always forget those. Safety Road might not have been secure enough to thwart a robbery, but at least they bothered to install a security camera. This footage should come in handy. And this torn document is interesting too. Somebody didn't want us to see what was on it, but it was our robber or somebody else. Reggie Willow lied to us about not cooperating with Chuck's kidnappers. He could have been trying to save face, but I think he knows more than he's telling us. Let's talk to him again. Lost my document four. Find 50 items, okay. Basically just finish that. Oh, the red fox. Whoever robbed safety road was smart enough to hide their face, and so fashionably too. That's quite a dramatic red fox mask for someone to wear, to wear during a robbery. Some of the files on Wit's hard drive reference something called the red fox. First, it just seemed like a code for an operational detail, but it's clear now he's referring to his partner. Let's go pay Mr. Martin a visit and see if we can tell him uh, Sue's face is behind that mask. Interesting. Oh, 80, how much? 80,000? 80 million? Eighty million, holy crap, that's a lot of money. Nice size agent, it's a wire transfer receipt. Looks like somebody was moving a lot of money around, but I can't make sense of any of these identified numbers. They must be in code. Let's get this ARAM and see what he can make of it. Hey, Mr. Wheeler, we have an update on your son's murder. Right? Evidence indicates that Whit Martin was responsible for holding Chuck hostage and subsequently taking his life. Wait, I always thought Chuck, he and Chuck were friends. I knew he was a bad seed. Thank you for bringing in the justice agent. But while we were investigating Whit, we also learned that you, in fact, provided him with highly classified information that was then used to rob one of your facilities. That's absurd. Safety rules are well regarded for maintaining only the highest level of discretion. The fact that my son was murdered should be a testament to the fact that I didn't cooperate. Well, if we're going to recover the nukes, we need all the information we can get. You need to tell us the truth about what happened. Yeah, did you give... He's going to say no. It's a lie. I'm truly sorry for your son's death, Mr. Wheeler, but covering up your own mistakes only makes things worse. We need those nukes back. Tell us who you shared the information. It's true. I lied. When I got the note, I was terrified for Chucky, but after I dropped off the drive, I shamefully suspected him of being involved in his own kidnapping. I was that, Mr. Wheeler. I delivered the drive to a phone booth near the Cochino Club, one of the places Chuck used to frequent. Just a few weeks earlier, Chucky had been asking me about the same information. Hey, Mr. Wheeler, given the warheads were taken from your facility to your league, we're going to need to do an independent analysis of your offices to see what else you had access to. 
Oh, you don't have to go through the trouble. Agents all arrange an independent audit and send the government a detailed report of what could have been compromised. Well, unfortunately, you don't have a choice in the matter, Mr. Wheeler. This is now a matter that pertains to our investigation. Well, I cannot allow you to potentially compromise the secrets of our other clients. If you insist on pursuing an audit of my records, you'll be hearing from my attorneys. Interesting. I don't want to get in trouble. Given that we just told Reggie Wheeler to murder his son, it seems a bit strange that his primary focus was keeping us away from Safety Road. I think he's hiding something. I've dealt with men like with like Reggie Wheeler before, and he's probably already trying to figure out how his lawyers can hold up our investigation. We need to search Safety Road now. You lied to us about working alone, and now four warheads are missing. We need you to tell us who your partner is. I told you, I don't have a partner. My plan was only speculative. I never worked with anyone on actually making it happen. Then explain to me why someone in a Red Fox mask just robbed a safety road facility using the same plan we, that we recovered from your hard drive. The same hard drive which repeatedly referred to a party called the Red Fox. Lying to us at this point will only make a judge add years to your sentence later. Help us so we can help you. I don't have a thing to say to you. Clearly. Well, whoever you're working with has abandoned you. They're letting you run in a cell while they take any money you could have made for your, your, themselves. Stop protecting them. I can't. I love her. I'm not going to tell you anything. Oh, you know who it is. It's the stripper. Reggie Wheeler's secretary said he recently had some late night meetings in here. Let's see if we can find anything that will tell us why he's so nervous about us looking around. Oh my goodness. She's the red fox. Oh, man. That's just, it's crazy. Nice job getting these items, Agent. These inventory records should give us a good idea of the sort of materials Wheeler was storing for the government. It looks like this phone is wired to record incoming calls. Let's see if we can find out if Wheeler was talking to any shady characters on company time. Alright, let's do this. Nice work, Agent. Whoever's using this didn't delete the last call. Sounds like it's between Reggie Wheeler and another man. Could be Eastern European based on his accent. They're discussing prices for different nuclear materials. Reggie Wheeler has been selling nuclear material on the side this entire time. This is a national security crisis. It's even possible that Safety Road wasn't robbed at all and we're dealing with an inside job. Could Reggie Wheeler have had something to do with Chuck's murder? We need to figure out if the person Witt was working for has any connection to Mr. Wheeler. That's nuts. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys in seven hours. I've been pitching AZ88. Au revoir.